Good evening and welcome back once again. So today we're back in the league with a home match against Levante. Remember the league is tied up. We have already won it. I believe we've got 103 points now. And in the last match we had our second leg clash against AC Milan. We come out victors. 4-1 on aggregate. 2-1 on the night. And we're into the final against West Ham of the Europa League. Back at home once again in the league. Things are looking really good. Apart from being out of the Copa del Rey which we got knocked out of the semi-finals. It's been a very, very good season. And even that, you know, getting to the semi-finals um, with the team that we've got is is brilliant. Winning the league, over 100 points and still a couple of matches more to go in the Europa League final. Squad's looking very good. Got players coming back from being on loan, youngsters, and we'll have to make some decisions at that stage who may go back out on loan or who may be able to step up to, to the first team for uh, season three and our second season in division one and potentially are there any players we're going to sell because uh, you know some of the youngsters that we bring up through the youth ranks is to make a little bit of money as well don't forget chance here and it's one nil and it's a header from harrington his first start in quite a while Well, the corner worked, not quite how I imagined. Defender tried to clear and it goes straight to Harrington. A nice header actually in the end. Headers aren't that easy on this game, I would say. It's timed well. And about as good as a start as he can ask for. But yeah, I mean, I do think, and a lot of people that have played Pairs 2021, and a few versions where they haven't really changed the budget system it's a little bit broken. Um, it's hard to, to really make money and to have enough money to pay your players even. So you've got to do a bit of jiggery-pokery. Um, here's Martinelli. Rodrick Martinelli. Oh, good save. But yeah... <laughs> You've really got to fight to keep the salaries down. The players always want a release clause written in. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, you can't swap budgets. You can swap where the money goes in. Um, but you can't like alter it around like you can do in Football Manager. I think you can do it in FIFA. You've been able to do it in previous Pez games. I don't know why they've taken it out. And another corner. Another scramble goal. And it's Martinelli this time. Well, these corners are working. Just not directly as such Cousins with the corner again it's just not really defended I don't know if a defender touched it so it might be classed as an assist for Cousins I'm not 100% sure because if no one touched it let's have a look no I think it might just be an assist for Cousins we'll have to have a look at that afterwards not that it matters too much but um yeah, so as part of the thing, you really have to be putting all of your incoming money into your salary budget, really, to keep that sustainable. And then what I normally do is pay... Hang on a minute. Here's my drink. Pay any contract extras out of your um, transfer budget, which you can select to do. So pretty much all of your money's in going into the the contract so then when you buy new players you can actually afford to pay them but then of course your transfer budget is not going up so you have to sell players to do that um that's the only way you're going to get that income and one of the only really best ways to do that is to bring up youth players um either sell them pretty much as soon as you can or send them out on loan if they come back and you like the look of the player because they've gained a little bit of experience keep them um, but also they may have increased their value a little bit as well and then sell them at that stage if you can assuming someone come, comes in with a bid it's Martinelli Mudrick Mudrick oh lovely control there it looked like he got fouled but he managed to retain the ball and it's a really calm finish Martinelli with the pass. You can see he just gets pushed, but he still manages to finish it. 
I'm wondering if Morton Emmy will get the assist for that one as well. He should do. As long as the defender doesn't touch it. Strange game. I mean, yeah, we've been our usual dominating self, as in we've got probably the majority of possession and the majority of the uh, possession has been spent in their half. Or in their final third, even. Oh, Mudrick, lovely control. <laughs> what a lovely finish. Great control. And slotted in the corner. It's a really nicely weighted ball from Martinelli. And it's the little cut inside here. He's got about three or four defenders around him. Nice touch. Little turn there. Slotted away. I think the keeper's arm went through the floor there as well. 4-0 and we just pretty much scored at every chance really. Two very weird corners to, to set us up for a very solid start. More than a solid start. On oh, a nice little ball. Straight at the keeper. Even from that angle, I thought you know, this could go in the way the game's going. Mudrick. Oh, that was for the hat-trick. Nice block. Feels like one of those days where goals are going to be flowing. They already are, but this could be a big scoreline. I thought that was a foul, but never mind. Nice tackle from Harrington there. And sees Mudrick on the run. Mudrick. Oh, shocking touch. Really, really poor touch. Any sort of, even just a, a half decent touch, and he was free there. There wasn't really anyone that could stop him apart from the keeper oh and a nice little ball but just overshot it slightly or Bajer just wasn't quick enough maybe in terms of how we can improve this team in terms of starting lineup it's going to be very difficult but in terms of squad depth we certainly can um, as much as I love Bajer and the likes of Hounton and people like that they're probably going to fall a little bit behind, I would say. And that doesn't mean we're going to sell them, but... I do think those could be improved. Really nice goal there. Not very well defended at all. Yeah, really nicely slotted away. And I've said it before, I do think that wide right we could improve. Now, whether that's improve on Carlos Perez for starting or someone of a similar sort of overall rating to vie for that position as an even better second choice. Oh, Martinelli. <laughs> and it's somehow found his way to Martinelli. Very, very lucky. And we've got that four goal lead restored. It's one of those games where things are definitely going our way. The ball has just fallen to us where, you know, a little deflection off the defender's heel, a little bit unlucky, and Martinelli does his job and slots it away. I mean, Martinelli's been a very classy signing. He's done exactly what we wanted him to do coming in he scored goals he's just a massive threat on that left hand side or up top um, mainly on the left here's Martinelli again oh nice little back flick and Houghton just couldn't uh, quite get under from his feet and that should be half time and it is straight into the second half not really anybody looking at the stats it's 5-1 um that's all that matters, really. Very, very dominant, clearly. 
fact, the only surprise is really that they got one goal. Hound turn. Hound turn. Nah, it's comfortable. Team's very confident now, though. And we've got that final in the Europa League against West Ham coming up, remember? Biggest match of our career so far. We've had some big matches. We really have. But a final of a European competition, even if it's not the Champions League. Massive. Uh, well, that was a very good tackle, and the referee's wrong. That's what I'm going to say. I don't really want to see replay. Well, that could have been a, a second goal for Lugano's there. Levante, rather. Not Lugano's. Madrid now, nice ball to Cousins. Haven't seen too much of Cousins. It's been really bypassing the midfield a lot and just finding its way to the front three. Um, pretty direct. Here's Cousins. Oh, lovely play. Oh, finish to match the passing. a nice ball in from Herrera to Cousins but it's the little one too, look at this little flick from Martinelli, beautiful finish a little flick and into the roof of the net, well maybe not as high as I thought but beautiful finish and just as I was saying, Cousins hadn't been in the match too much, hasn't put a foot wrong or anything, but like I say that a lot of the players just come from the front three, um We make some subs soon as well. As soon as the ball goes out. Oh, nice play from Hamilton. Breaking up the ball. Oop, bit unlucky there. One into his own player. Again, Cousins in the action now. Oh, and a lovely little ball to Mudrick. Mudrick. Oh, try to squeeze it in on the near post. And we're actually going to bring on Mariba for Cousins just to give him a little bit of a rest. And we're switching things up top. We're going to bring on Xerxes for Bajer. We're going to switch Mudrick to the right and Martinelli to the left. And also Arcas is coming on for Harrington in the attack midfield position. Xerxes in on the action straight away. Header flashed across goal. And here's Mudrick now. Mariba, oh, well wide, but good good chance. Straight in in the action from Xerxes and Mariba. Nice ball there, Teixeira. Now Monoli, he was back on his, probably his favourite position on that left wing. Xerxes, oh he's offside, Xerxes man he gets caught offside way too often and he doesn't need to be because he likes to play with his back to goal like he's done there and turned so he doesn't actually need to be sprinting ahead of the uh, defence it's frustrating another position we could actually probably improve is that position Castro is definitely our number one Choice in that centre forward role at the moment. But could we improve on Xerxes as a second choice? I think we could do. He's such, been such a great player. And he, we're not going to sell him. Well, I wouldn't think anyway. Arcas. Mariba. Waits for Tech Sharon out. Now Martinelli. Not much space. Back to Martinelli. Arcas. Oh, good save. Very patient build-up. Really good play. Nice header there. Zuxi. Now Mariba. And not really sure who that was to. It was to in between two players, really. Oop, 
I didn't spot that play. I thought Morton Ali was going to get the ball there. Lovely play by Herrera. Free kick. No. Herrera gets it back. Anyway. It's weird. Whenever, like I've said it before, whenever I do a challenge like that, even if I win the ball, the free kick goes against me. Uh, it's, I just want consistency. I do feel like the AI get the benefit of the doubt more than you do as a player. Anyway, can't really complain with being 6-1 up too much. Nice play by McDowell. Now Mudrick. Martinelli. Oh, that was a crunch and tackle. Mariba. Oh, thunderous effort. And it was just dipping. It's actually a very good save in the end, I think. I'll actually watch this one. I don't normally watch replays of, you know, non-goals. Yeah, just dipping and he got his hand on it. Very good save. The keeper's actually made some pretty decent saves, considering he's letting six. 60 again. Oh, it's just wide. Well, that's twice since Xerxes come on that like he's nearly, um, well, he's, I wouldn't say he's nearly scored, but he's had headers flash across goal from that near post. Good play there. Mudrick very tired. But nicely played. Now he's Mariba. Now Martinelli. I don't know where that defender came from. Martinelli again. Mariba. Sixy. 7 1. Sliding finish. I thought he'd missed his opportunity by falling over there. And the pass for myself, I was actually aiming to pass it to, to Martinelli, but Martinelli jumped out of the way. And it's actually a nice finish in the end. And apart from letting in that goal, it's been a flawless performance. I don't think they deserved that goal. But you wouldn't begrudge them it after letting in seven, really. They'll uh, not take any comfort in that goal, I wouldn't think. Mudrick with acres of space. Now Xerxes. Martinelli. Xerxes again. Mudrick. He's so tired though. Born into free kick. Got a bit of luck. I wouldn't really say that's a yellow card to be honest. It's a bit of a clumsy challenge but... Um, come on, let's have Arcas have a go. Why not? Ooh. Well, very, very comfortable in the end. Brilliant performance. Yeah, I mean, what more can you say, really? Nearly two-thirds of possession, nearly 20 shots on goal. Massive amount of passes. Martinelli getting a massive 8.0, which is uh, an extremely good score in pairs. Mudrick, I thought he could have got more than a 7. I mean, that's a very good score. Hounton, Mudrick and Bajer, I would say Mudrick was by far second best player. Him and Martinelli were definitely the most outstanding players. And Kusans probably should have got more than a 6.5 with getting the goal as well. Very, very good performance ahead of the final against West Ham. And that's it for today, guys. As you can see, it's the final against West Ham next. There's been a good maybe 10 days or so between the last match and this one. 11 days, actually, there you can see. We should have some fresh bodies going into that final. I would say we're definitely the favourites. We're in form. Can we get that double? We've already tied up the league. That would be a magnificent achievement in only our second season. So join me for that one. Hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you next time. Cheers.